Welcome back. It's still the dog days of summer, so it's important to keep your pets cool. Why indulging your dog's wish to go for a ride may not be the best thing for them, and it can even turn deadly. Here to discuss it, TxDOT's Jennifer Wright. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Mark. Many of us treat our pets like family, and we love to take them along. I mean, after all, who doesn't want to go for a ride? But if you treat your dog like family, do so by putting their safety first. Well, as you know, Jennifer, we have cats, but anytime they get in the car, they think it's a trip to the VET. So let's stick with dogs for our segment today. <laughs> Will do. The reality is that dogs are not welcomed everywhere, so we're urging the public to carefully plan outings and safe dog, safe dog, <laughs> safeguard <laughs> Good dog. your dog from heat stroke. We talk about it all the time with kids, but we don't want people overlooking their furry friends. Well, it does seem our weather is cooling down a little bit, so how hot is too hot? Well, even when it doesn't feel very warm, a car can become as hot as an oven very quickly. Even when it's 70 degrees, a closed up car can reach an unbearable 116 degrees within the hour and it can get hot faster than you think remember on a 90 degree day it takes only 10 minutes for your car to heat up to 109 which can be deadly dogs that are left in cars in hot weather can die quickly from heat stroke it's well documented and yet it still happens so is cracking the car windows not enough Many people believe it's okay to leave your dog in a car on a warm day if the windows are left open or they're parked in the shade. But the truth is, it's still a very dangerous situation for the dog. So you're saying as long as our warm weather continues, our viewers with pooches should recognize the dangers of leaving their pets in the car, even if it's only for a few minutes and the windows open. That's, that's absolutely right, Mark. The car can quickly become like an oven with our faithful friends trapped inside. Again, if you indeed love them like family, we recommend putting your dog's safety first by leaving them at home and only taking them along when they can join you inside your destination. All right, full disclosure, those are two of Jennifer's three dogs, and they're great actors, Jennifer. <laughs> Thank you. All right, I'll let's talk about you what said. you have to look forward to in traffic next week. Well, I have a bit of good news for you. Crews on the I-10 Widening West project have completed the installation of temporary concrete safety barriers along the inside shoulder of the freeway. So those pesky overnight full closures are on hold for a few weeks. Now we have two lanes open in each direction to traffic. Daytime lane closures will only be instated as needed and can happen in either direction wherever crews are working. Elsewhere in the metropolis, I-10 Connect has sound wall activity, occasionally closing lanes on I-110 just a day or two per week, only during daytime hours. I-10 West will close overnight at Airway Thursday night at August 6th for bridge repair with an easy off and back on detour. Loop 375 will have overnight closures Sunday through Thursday, northbound at Saragossa to North Loop and southbound at Vista del Sol to North Loop starting at 9. The rest is per usual. Long-term lane closures all over our job sites and always be on the lookout for guardrail repair. Stay safe and stay cool. See you next time. All right, Jennifer, thanks so much. Thank you, Mark.